Hello guys, going wild camping tonight, just a local trip again. Uh, gear I'm going to be packing is Osprey Talon 33 litre rucksack. The shelter of choice tonight is the Gilla Solo one man tent. I think we might be expecting rain so I really want to rain test that. Sleeping, I've got my Thermarest stuff sack pillow. Inside that is my Cumulus down sleeping bag and a silk sleeping bag liner. Sleep pads, we've got the Thermarest Z-Lite full length uh, silver coated pad. A Terranova laser sleeping pad, foam. High gear luxury camping pillow. Then on to cookware. We've got the Highlander Blade Fast Boil Mark II gas stove. Large gas canister, I'm still trying to use that up. Got a couple of microfiber towels for cleaning up with. A Life Venture folding, uh, uh, sorry, bowl. Then on to food, we have some porridge for the morning, some meatballs and gravy, some super noodles, barbecue beef flavour, there's a tea, some protein bars, drink mix, alka-seltzer, cider of course. <laughs> now that's from uh, my mate Tommy who did a camp and a walk with me recently. So cheers mate, I'll be reviewing that one tonight. Got fingerless gloves, my beanie hat, for hygiene, we've got some wet wipes, a lip balm, a small bottle of multi-purpose soap. Then onto sort of extra little items, we've got two titanium spalks in that little orange bag there. Got a emergency SOL uh, bivy bag, just in case. <laughs> then through night. TI3 mini flashlight, lighter, a pen knife and first aid kit. Of course it's all on the polycryo ground tarp. And yeah, I haven't weighed it yet. I'll let you know soon. Oh yeah, for water, sorry. I'm gonna have one half litre bottle Nalgin, one litre Glona Dark Nalgin bottle. That should be plenty, two and a half litres. Right, that's that lot packed up. You'll see me in a few hours time in the forest. Right guys, so you've seen all the gear packed up and I'm heading off now so I'm going to get the stuff out of the back and we're going to make a move so I'll see you when I'm set up. Stay tuned. Right guys, that's all the gear set up. As I said before, it's the Gillert Solo one man tent again and the Highlander Fastball Mark II gas stove that's just boiling up some water for me dinner, I haven't had dinner yet just come back from a night out so had a couple of bevies, not too many though Still, I've still got enough left in the tank for a cider review just down there so yeah, that one's from Tommy as I said and yep, yeah, got me down sleeping bag for a change uh, Thermal Rest, Z-Light, Laser uh, foam pads, Osprey rucksack in the back there, luxury pillow, yeah, should be pretty warm tonight. I'm in a different section of the forest tonight, uh, sort of the other side of it this time, so I know you probably can't see too much in the dark. It is about, I think it's gone half 12 now, it's probably nearer 1 o'clock, so, and the wind is picking up a little bit. But I've checked all the trees around me and they're all nice and green and living. So no chance of deadfall. Hopefully not. So we'll see anyway. It's cider time again guys. Tonight's cider is, as I say, it's from my mate Tommy. He did a wild camp and a walk with me recently. Cheers to this one mate. I'll let you know what I think of it if you're watching this. It's Tillington Hills. Premium British cider. Made from 100% fresh apples, never from concentrate. That's good. 6% alcohol volume. And duh, 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 what else we got? Vintage 2015. Uh, 
it's from the co-op as well it's the co-op's own brand brilliant let's give this a try right let's crack this bad boy open cheers Tommy hope you're well mate hmm Oh, it's a premium dry cider. I can taste that straight away. Oh, ah, it's refreshing. It's got a slightly smoky taste to it, I think. Um, best served chilled. Yeah, it's fairly cold, so. Oh. It is quite dry though. Um, it's not a particularly fizzy cider either. Um, yeah, quite a strong taste to it. I think I'd have to give it, as I'm not a massive fan of uh, dry ciders, I'd have to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Mmm. It's drinkable though, don't get me wrong. But it's very dry. I'd have to have that with a lot of ice, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, Tillington Hills. Premium British cider. See that in the light. 6.5. Cheers, Tommy, mate. Right, guys. That's all from me tonight. I've had my, uh, barbecue beef flavour super noodles and meatballs in gravy and I've had my cider as well I've just finished having my snore and peace tea helps me get to sleep <laughs> so uh, yeah it's pretty windy outside uh, but as I say I think I'm, I'm safe here in this spot so right You'll see me in the morning. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. I slept really, really well last night. It's just gone 7 a.m. And I woke to, like, the most glorious sound ever of, like, the birds in the forest... There's a woodpecker just over here now. Um, the wind died down last night and didn't really get too cold. If it did, I didn't feel it because this down sleeping bag and sleeping pads and that kept me really, really warm. So, yeah, it was a really comfy night's sleep. Right, get some breakfast on the go. So yeah, as you can see, it's a, a really, really nice morning to wake up to. It's quite mild. The sun's just sort of trying to break through the clouds over to my left here. And yeah, should be a nice day. I've had breakfast, had some porridge. I forgot to pack a hot chocolate though, so I've only had the porridge really, and it's not quite the same. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get packed up and head off. There you go. You can see the tent. It's a good little tent to do that solo. Cheapest chips, but 
it's reliable and it, it just does the job you know it's you know it's going to work kind of thing and it's it's cozy but i kind of like that in a way it's uh yeah it's a nice looking little tent and yeah does the job does what i need does all i need anyway all i needed to do so that's the main thing and yeah in the wind last night it held up all right it was pretty quick to set up as well nothing complicated about it that's what i like about it so yeah anyway i'm gonna get packed up now i've just sort of done some filming of the forest and stuff like that and a little wander around so uh yeah get packed up speak to you in a bit that's me all packed up guys leave no trace as you can see so yeah thank you for watching this one i'm going to start trying to do sort of different places as well somewhere new i mean it is lovely here in the forest but i'm just starting to get a little bit bored of it really i just need to find new places and stuff this is a different spot but yeah you know what i mean it's i'm sort of the the adventure's not there anymore so uh, a few of my suffolk walks though coming up are sort of between 9 and 11 miles i think one of them might even be 12 miles so they're still doable within a day however i'm gonna try and sort of split them in half and sort of wild camp somewhere there on the route overnight so that could inject a bit more fun into it uh, an adventure so we'll see how that goes really so yeah that's the plan so there'll be a few more sort of wild camp overnight as whilst walking as well which should be good so yeah that's to look forward to anyway and like i say hopefully it'll make for <laughs> better camping videos right anyway i'm waffling on okay thank you very much for watching uh, get in the comments let us know what you think and yeah cheers guys you'll see me in the next one see you later